Hey everybody, welcome to a special edition of AnglersChannel.com video. We got Anglers Channel Pro Staffer Robbie Dye with us up here at beautiful Lake Norman. And uh, Robbie, it's Tuesday. Let's call it the week after some of the best weights we've seen in years, uh, really region wide ever. Uh, we were at the CBC up at Norman this weekend, and obviously uh, more limits caught up there than we've seen in a long, long time, and including some good quality. We had a uh, 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 excuse me, an Angler's Choice Marine Team Trail event on Falls Lake. I don't know if you saw that, 32 and a half pounds, one at Falls. The big fish was 10.54. Uh, so, I mean, that's just to get going. And then we've got, you know, Santee last weekend. I believe it took 29. And, you know, we got the CBC at Watery coming up this weekend. Uh, we got the Oakley Big Bass coming up this weekend on Clarks Hill. But all these lakes, Robbie, are producing great bags of fish. Yeah, John, I think it's due to the cold winter we had, and uh, the water has slightly been warming up, and these fish are, you know, trying to feed up, getting ready for the spawn, and uh, we've had a lot of shad die off this year, and uh, it's just been unbelievable. Uh, the weights that we've been seeing, but it's definitely due to the cold winter we've had and the progression of spring coming in slowly. Well, you know, we also took a look back at the uh, Alabama Bass Trail on Pickwick this past weekend, and they had, uh, I believe, 25.1 won that. It seems like if you're not in the mid-20s at any of these lakes, you're just not going to be in the hunt. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I, I've been thinking, you know, the whole time, you know, guys always say there probably was more fish back, you know, in the early 60s and 70s, but... I don't know, uh, John, there's still a lot of big fish out here in these lakes. I mean, bass fishing is as good as it's been in a long time. The weight show for itself, and, uh, you know, naturally we have got smarter about catching the fish, but there's still a lot of big fish in all these lakes. You know, it's interesting. We've got, uh, I believe, an FLW Tours coming up this weekend on Sam Rayburn. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, that's a, you know, a big, big uh, fishery out in Texas. Uh, then we got the Oak Oakley Big Bass on Clarks Hill Lake. Clarks Hill was a lake that last year started to show signs of recovery. You know, they had the, the, the largemouth bass virus a few years back. I think it affected it a lot, as it did Kerr. But Clarks Hill's got quality. I mean, if that lake's on mid to, you know, low to mid-20s is nothing for that lake. Yeah, I mean, you know, and the, they've got those herring down there, and they're, you know, just 100% protein for those bass. So they grow quick down there at Clark Hill, and you can look for a big weekend down there, John. It's going to be beautiful this weekend. You know, probably going to be one of the best weekends to be out fishing because we're going to have a two- or three-day warming trend uh, coming up to Saturday. So you're going to see some big weights. Uh, the other thing that's that's big and uh, easy, easily noticeable is uh, the payouts. Everybody's getting big checks, uh, it seems like, no matter where they go. Uh, what's your thought on that? It's great. You know, uh, bass fishermen love it. Uh, you know, these team trails have uh, stepped up, and, uh, you know, all of them are paying anywhere from five to ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 new boats. I mean, you know, there's a lot of money, a lot of product being flashed around out there in front of us, and uh, we're enjoying it, and I uh, hope, it, hope it grows, you know, because uh, – this sport is an expensive sport, you know, with the gas and the entry fees, and, you know, it's it, it kind of gets in your pocket. Yeah, and it's nice to cast check every week. Well, hey, uh, once again, big, big weekend coming up across the region. Uh, if you go to the tournaments page of anglerchannel.com, you'll see them all laid out right there. Robbie, congrats on a 10th place finish, I believe, out at the uh, CBC on Norman this past weekend. And uh, I'm still shaking my head at that falls uh, tournament. The North Carolina division of the Angler Choice Marine, the winning weight was 32 and a half. Big fish was 10.54. I don't know that there's a lake anywhere near us that has that has quality like falls does. It, it doesn't, John, you know, but that lake, uh, I fished it several times, and uh, this time of year, it's one of the best lakes around in the country that you can fish. You know, it's not very big, so uh, you have to hit it at, at particular times. They had 55 teams, which is the perfect number for that lake. That is, you know, it's not a 150-boat tournament lake, and uh, it's a great little lake. Hey, man, uh, great seeing you. Uh, it's the time to go, be on the water. Uh, have fun, catch fish, and uh, that's what it's all about. Guys are catching a lot of fish. Uh, we'll see you next week. Take care.